Legion Archery. This is the bow that I was working on. This is, I, I used to have, I used to be working on the Vine Maple bow, the videos that you saw before. And this is the finished product, but it's in hop hornbeam. I broke the Vine Maple one, and so I started this one. And I actually, I added the rawhide backing just so this one wouldn't break. Actually, it probably wasn't gonna break because there's no knots on this bow except for a knot here. But this one was not decrowned like the Vine Maple stave, so it was a lot stronger. I, I wanted to get this profile that you see here with the bend through the middle and just a straight handle. It actually has the reflex here near the handle, that's why you have that straight area here. And pretty much it's just your, a simple profile. I'm gonna be shooting these hazel arrows. The arrows are not meant to sh be shot from this bow, but I use them to test shoot the bow. I've been shooting it for a little bit now. I'm gonna shoot it again. And hopefully, you know, it's not too far, just about 10 yards maybe. But I'll go ahead and shoot it. It's, this is a quick bow because of that reflex that it has. I'm gonna try to hit the bottom. I have, a, I have an orange there, so I'm just gonna aim at that. These arrows are too stiff for this bow, so they're going left. There you go. He's got the three arrows in. Not very accurate. That's because I have not been practicing and the arrows are not meant for this bow. I'll unstring this bow and I'll show you. So here's the bow. Here's the bow. Right now, I just unstrung it, so I'm pretty sure it has about an inch of reflex, but once I leave it resting, it'll probably pick up and it'll be back at two inches of reflex. So you can see, this bow's 48 inches, pulls around 40 pounds, and I was drawing it to about 22 inches, I believe. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.